Well, what can I say? I am not happy right now because I am back to relying. That is, that's ridiculous. That is just. <laughs> not a good day. I could, I could complain for quite some time. I have a long list of things that are irritating me. But yes, uh, once again, I'm back at the supercharger, the high powered wall connector, and my garage is no longer working. I know, I know, first world problems, big deal, right? But as I've said many times before, when you pay the kind of money that I paid for this vehicle, you expect a certain level of quality, and I don't feel like I'm getting it. I've got falcon wing doors that squeak. I've got a window that just simply needs another bit of weather stripping or whatever right there by the on the inside to uh, stop making awful squealing noises that it's making, which you just heard in this video. Um, I've got just a lot of little things that are just adding up and driving me crazy about this car. Do I regret getting a Tesla? Absolutely not. I don't regret it. Um, I'll never regret it because I did it the other way long enough and I, I think that I had to make a decision and my decision was hey I want to do something different I want to be part of something new I want to be part of something I believe strongly in which is everything I can say about Tesla for sure however I didn't expect to have so many quality control issues so or I, I didn't expect to feel like I'm I'm kind of a like a beta tester for the thing and it, that's that's kind of uh, it's not very good so anyway is it all negativity obviously not um, the simple act of driving the vehicle is the Tesla's true redeeming quality. Once you get behind the wheel of this vehicle as an owner, you start to expect a certain experience whenever you get behind the wheel to the point to where you don't want to drive anything else. It's kind of like when I got my uh, Tempur-Pedic. Wow, there's cops out here and everything. What's going on? Woo! Madness here. All right, so yeah, it just kind of reminds me of when I got my my first, or well, my current Tempur-Pedic, which I plan to, to replace pretty soon. Um, I didn't want to sleep anywhere else. Once I got the real deal uh, Tempur-Pedic mattress, I was like, wow, this is insane. Now, you know, I, I you know, I, I definitely want to sort of try something different, but I'm kind of, I got used to sleeping on that type of a mattress. And it's the same way with this car. You start to really get used to the acceleration, the, the technology and everything. It's just, the list goes on and you, you pretty much say to yourself, you know what? this is the best experience I've ever had with a car. It's not perfect, but I don't want to ever go back to driving an internal combustion engine vehicle ever again. Now, I do feel that way, but there are some things that are going to have to change, and I don't know if those things are going to change drastically within the next five years when I really believe it will be be time for me to upgrade again. Gosh, I'm just catching every red light tonight. But, um, I don't know. The main thing that I want right now from Tesla, as a Tesla owner, 
is I want them to sort out all of the little things with this car that are driving me crazy. I just, I don't want to let the window down and hear that squeaking noise anymore. Would you like to hear it again? Here it is again. It'll do it again. Oh, wow. Didn't do it that time. Well, <laughs> guess the joke's on me, but uh, that's not a good noise either, you know, when it's going back up. So, that's it, you know. Um, my high-powered wall connector is dead. I don't know what's wrong with it. Tesla hasn't been much help. I'm having to deal with this huge three-way battle between me and the preferred electrician that Tesla endorsed on their website, which has now disappeared. They've, they've completely disappeared from their website now. And people over at the service center are like, who? T-E who? So that's not good. Anyway, I'm in a three-way battle with the electricians who put in the high power wall connector and my builder because everyone's pointing fingers and talking about bad arcs and all this shit. You know what? I don't really care. I just want all of my stuff to work. I want, I expect a $2,000 plus dollar installation to work flawlessly. I expect a six-figure car to not have squeaky windows and doors and, and all this other BS. I mean, I really don't think that that's asking for too much, you know? I, I just don't even... God, I'm just so frustrated right now. I can't even get my thoughts out. I'm going to end this video. Thank you for listening. All right, good morning. Here we are. Still no way to charge at home. Uh, the guys from TE are on their way over. Uh, hopefully get this thing fixed. Um, I suspect that it's probably the high-powered wall charger itself. So if that's the case, then uh, it's not going to be good, right? So... I'm going to be waiting for another two to three weeks for Tesla to send out another high-powered wall charger because they say that they're on back order, just like their windshields, which they can't even give me any ETA on. Um, at this point, I'm, I'm, I'm very annoyed right now. It's all the little things, too. It's not major things, and I've seen some of the major things that can go wrong with a Tesla, and I got to tell you, if any of that stuff went wrong with me on top of all this, I don't know what I'd do. I mean, I would really, I would explode because uh, what's going on right now with me not being able to charge at home and me uh, basically waiting indefinitely for a windshield, which is, once again, it's not their fault, but you know what? To the people who want to like get on here and make comments and bitch about, oh, you should do this, that, and the other, shut the you-know-what up. Really, shut up. Because I am the one who's in this situation, not you. And don't forget it. Yeah, I'm pissed this morning, people. I'm pissed. And uh, in about 10 minutes or so, the guy who installed this high-powered wall station here whatever you want to call it, high-powered wall connector, is going to come over here and try to straighten this situation out. It's either them or it's Tesla. It's one of the two. It's not the builder. There's this three-way battle going on. They're like saying the builder doesn't know what he's doing. I didn't start having problems with my circuit breaker tripping until these guys put this charger in. So... <sighs> Man, I'm telling you, I really hope we get a solution today because I am tired of having to just constantly run by the supercharger. I, I, I would prefer to charge at home. It, it would just make, it makes life so much easier. It's a game changer. And when you can't do that, it really takes away from what makes having an electric car so great. So that's all I have to say for now, over and out. Just to continue on with my rant, because I don't like being misunderstood. I don't like looking like I'm walking around with carrying all this anger all the time and just find something negative and everything. It's not, that's not what I'm about at all. When you invest in something, whatever it may be, and you 
feel like you've made a pretty sizable investment in that product and whatever it may be and you don't get back what you feel that you're putting in it it's really disappointing you know it really is it's very very disappointing and right now knowing you know and I'm well aware that the upfront cost in other words is supposed to be pretty heavy but then down the road you're supposed to feel like well you know what this was a wise decision this is a great way to go and and maybe that will be the case and I would love to do a follow-up video here and say you know what I was wrong I was but man I gotta tell you my start has not been like many other Tesla owner starts it has been, I don't even have a swag bag. They didn't even give me my swag bag, okay? I didn't even have a proper uh, delivery. You know, I had a delivery, but it wasn't the delivery that I see all these other Tesla owners getting. And I feel that that alone is a bad start. It's a bad sign. And now here I am with a vehicle that, you know, it's fun to drive. It's great to drive, but the price that I've paid for it, super high price, you know, higher than any vehicle I've ever bought. And to deal with what I'm dealing with, that's just not cool at all. I'm, I'm telling you right now, I am not getting what I paid for with this vehicle, uh, whether it be up front or down the road. I mean, you know, it's just not right. And I, frankly, I don't think I should have to change out tires after 30,000 miles. I don't think I should have to change out a blowout after 15 or 18,000 miles or whatever it was when when one of the tires uh, got a, a nail in the side of it, in the sidewall or whatever it was and they they didn't cover me at all but yet I could go to a third party location and get coverage on those tires that they put on the car that Tesla put on the car so it's things like that that are just really disheartening with this ownership 10 months out I mean you know, if the next 10 months go the way the first 10 months have gone, you know, I'm going to be posting some really harsh videos about Tesla. I really will. I mean, this is just, you know, they need to step it up. So if anyone from Tesla is watching this, which I know some of you guys watch it, because when I was mentioning in the other video telling people to shut up, I was talking to people who probably work for Tesla or whatever, you know, and they think that I'm cutting into their sales or whatever it may be. And you know, I know about all that stuff about you guys firing all those people. I, I don't know what that's all about, and I don't know what's going on here in Atlanta with you guys like cutting your sales in Decatur and Marietta, and then you know saying that you have to go all the way over to Avalon or Linux to you know look at a Tesla and set up buying one. I, I I don't I don't know what all that's about. You know, I have nothing to do with that. And ultimately, I want to see Tesla succeed but I want them to also treat me and everyone else who is supporting them like a valued customer. That's all. That's what I want, okay? In a nutshell, I could redo the video and just simply say that in under 30 seconds. Just treat your clients right and they will take care of you. And that's why I came to you guys. That's why I bought a car from you because I got tired of all the BS that I was dealing with with internal combustion engines. I got tired of oil changes and untrustworthy mechanics hence me doing most of the work myself anyway and that's a whole nother story but I got tired of all that I wanted something new I wanted a change and I was willing to pay a premium for it but what I'm getting in return right now for what I paid is not what I expected at all so Tesla I'm telling you right now Take care of me. Take care of your customers, period. Over and out.